All right, guys, so check out these awesome pork short ribs that I made. I'm gonna show you just how I did this. So let's get to it. I was ordering some meat on Porter Road and I stumbled across this cut of meat. It is a pork short rib. I've never seen these before, never heard of them before. And according to their website, these come from the rib plate of the pig. And they also say that they have a glorious amount of meat and fat. So I'm pretty excited to give these a try and see how they come out. They look like they got some really good meat on them. I ordered two packs. Each pack came with two of these pork short ribs. One pack was these two big ones and the other pack was these two small ones. So I'm glad I ordered two packs. If I ordered just one pack and I came with these two small ones, I would be a little disappointed. So I'm glad I ordered the two packs and I got four nice pork short ribs to give a try. So without further ado, let's get to cooking these. As I always do with ribs, I've rinsed and dried these off and you can see that they've cut some of these bones right down the middle in half. So there's plenty of bone dust on these. So you're definitely gonna wanna rinse them off, then dry them when you're done. But let's go ahead, get some seasoning on here. And for seasoning, just use your favorite barbecue seasoning. Today I'm using a barbecue seasoning that I made myself. And I'm in the process of making a video of showing how I like to make my favorite barbecue seasoning. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. But I just wanna get a nice generous coating of this barbecue seasoning all over these short ribs. Not too worried about the bottom as much as the top. Let's get a nice coating on here. Make sure I get all this extra seasoning off the board. Don't wanna waste any of that. And it appears that there is a membrane on the bottom of these and I'm not too concerned about it. When I cook ribs, I usually leave the membrane on anyway. These are seasoned, ready to go. Let's get out to the smoker and get these on. All right, so the smoker's all fired up, ready to go. Let's get these pork short ribs on this thing. Just throw these things down on the grate. Nothing special here. Just like that. Get them in the smoker, close it up and let them cook. So I don't wanna let my temperatures get too high on my smoker since these short ribs are pretty small. So I'm thinking around the 250 degree mark is gonna be perfect for these short ribs. Now, I really don't know what to expect because I've never done something like this except maybe a beef short rib, a small size one I have done. I don't know if I'm gonna to need to wrap these, what the deal's gonna be. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on these and I'm probably gonna check them after an hour, maybe a little sooner just to see what's going on. But I'm glad you guys are doing this journey with me. So I'll see you when I go out there and give these things a check. All right, we just hit the two hour mark on these short ribs, let's give them a check. Oh yeah, check that out. These things have really puffed up from all that fat that's on them, but they're looking really good. So let me go ahead and check these for tenderness and then we will see where they're at for temperature as well. I'll check some of these small ones first. Hmm. Yeah, they're feeling pretty tender. I think they need a little more time. Not really where I want them. You can see they're kind of still sticking. The probe should be able to go in and out very easily. And I'll check this big one. Oh yeah, that definitely needs some more time. So these probably are cooking as quick as normal ribs, maybe a little faster. And with all this fat that I got on top here, I think I'm gonna leave them unwrapped. You could probably go ahead and wrap these small ones, but I'm just gonna leave them all unwrapped for now. Now let's get a temperature of this thick one here. So this is at 166 degrees. Obviously this is gonna need some more time. So I'm gonna let these go for another hour and then I wanna start putting some barbecue sauce on them. So I'm gonna put these back in the smoker, let them keep cooking. And while they're cooking, we'll go in and make some barbecue sauce. Now for the barbecue sauce for these short ribs, I did wanna keep it pretty simple. So I went ahead and got a nice bottled barbecue sauce. So this barbecue sauce is from a company called Primal Kitchen. If you've never heard of them, I highly suggest checking them out. They make awesome stuff. They make a lot of salad dressings and things. I didn't know they made a barbecue sauce. So when I saw it in the store, I had to pick it up. So Primal Kitchen uses a lot of great ingredients in their sauces and dressings. And that's why I really, really like it. The reason I'm a big fan of them is because in their dressing specifically, they use avocado oil instead of a soybean oil or some of those other not good for you oils. Now, if you don't really understand how bad those oils are for you, I suggest just doing some research. So the guy who started this company, his name is Mark Sisson. He's actually right here on the bottle. And he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. So I highly suggest going and listening to that if you are interested in learning a lot about the different kinds of oils out there. And after you listen to some things he say, I guarantee you, you're gonna be all over the avocado oil compared to a canola oil or something 
something like that. It's just not good for you. Stay away from that stuff. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them. I really just enjoy their products. They are a little pricey, but you pay for a better quality product. Now enough that, I'm not gonna go ahead and just use this straight out of the bottle. I just can't do that. I'm gonna tweak this a little bit and I'm gonna make two different styles of sauce, but I'm gonna be using this as my base. So let's get right to it. Let's start with sauce number one here. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this base barbecue sauce. And before I do that, I just wanna give this stuff a try and see what it tastes like plain. Mm, pretty good. So it's got a little bit of a kick. Let me show you the ingredients here. Now, what I'm really tasting in here is the tomato paste. You can get a lot of that tomato paste. I'm getting a lot of cumin. It's not really the best barbecue sauce I've tasted before, but I think it's gonna work great for a base. So I'm gonna go ahead, dump a little bit of this in there. We don't need much. That might actually be a little too much. So the first sauce I'm gonna be doing is a vinegar sauce. So we're gonna need to thin this out and I'm gonna be using some red wine vinegar for this. Get a little different flavor. So maybe cut that 40, 60, 40% 40 vinegar, 60% barbecue sauce. Now I wanna sweeten this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a good amount of honey in there. I want a nice sweet barbecue sauce. Then I got a little crushed red pepper flakes. I don't want too much, just a touch. This stuff can get real spicy real quick. So that's good there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Make sure it's got a nice consistency I'm looking for. I really like the red wine vinegar in this. I can smell it already. Instead of doing a regular white or apple cider vinegar, I like to change it up a little bit. And if you didn't see in the ingredients, it's got balsamic vinegar in there and apple cider vinegar in the barbecue sauce already. So that's pretty good. So that's not too bad. You can see it's nice and thin. That's what I'm looking for in a vinegar sauce. Ooh, smells nice, very pleasant. It's definitely got a more sweet smell to it than it did, but that's that. Let's move on to sauce number two. Again, we want a little bit of this barbecue sauce. add a little bit more than last time just because I'm not gonna be cutting it so much with vinegar. And for this barbecue sauce, I'm going for like a black pepper Texas style barbecue sauce. Want a heavy black pepper taste, real beefy kind of thing. And that's why I'm gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire in here. Adds a nice beefy flavor. You could probably go ahead with some beef broth too if you want. I don't have any, so I'm just using some Worcestershire. Then we get our black pepper. I wanna use a generous amount of this black pepper. It is a black pepper sauce after all. Probably put a tablespoon and a half of it in there and that should be good. Let's go ahead and just give this a little mix. All right, not bad. You can see this is some thick stuff. So I'm gonna give this a taste and see how it is because I kind of want to add some more Worcestershire just to thin this out a bit. Mm. Mm, pretty good. I don't want to add any more Worcestershire sauce. It's already got some good flavor there. So I'm just going to add a dash of this vinegar just because I'm trying to get this thinned out a little bit. You don't want too thick of a barbecue sauce because it's going to thicken up once you put them on the ribs out there. All right, that's not too bad. Really don't want to add any more vinegar. So I'm going to leave it like that. All right, and there's our barbecue sauces. And I didn't try this one, so let me get a taste of it. Mm, yeah like that one. These are two completely different sauces. This one's thick. It's got a lot of black pepper spice to it. This one's thin. It's got a nice sweetness to it because of that honey. I'm pretty excited to try these. But let's get these out to the smoker and we'll start putting these on our short ribs. All right, we're at the three hour mark on these short ribs. They should be ready for some barbecue sauce. Let's take a look. Oh yes, these are looking perfect to me. Check this one out. You can see how it's coming off the bone. That's telling me that these are almost finished here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and probe these, make sure they're tender. Yeah, that one's nice and tender. That one's feeling good. Here's the big one. Mmm. Could be more tender. This one in the back feels really nice. This one has a lot of fat, so that makes sense why this one feels nice and tender. So this is the least tender one out of all of them. Not too worried, because I'm gonna put sauce on them, cook even longer. See where we're at for temp, though. All right, so we're at 185 on this. That makes sense. Around the 195 mark, I bet you this will be nice and tender, and I bet you that's where these are. So let me just go ahead and see. Yeah, so on this small one, we're at 193. That's where they're gonna start getting nice and tender. But let's get some barbecue sauce on these. I'm gonna start with the vinegar sauce. I'm gonna go ahead with these back two with the vinegar sauce. Want a good amount on there. And since I put so much honey in there, this should get nice and tacky once they start cooking. Oh yeah, plenty of sauce. 
Check that out. These are going to be good. All right, now the front two are getting that black pepper sauce and you can see how much more thick this is. So you really wanna get it on there, coat it nicely, get all the nooks and crannies. Don't forget about the small one. All right, that looks pretty good. So here's my plan. I'm gonna come out here every 15 minutes and rebase these. I will do the thick ones probably every half an hour or so. I just don't wanna build up too much of that sauce on there and I'm gonna let these cook for another hour, then they should be done. So after an hour, I'm gonna pull them off, let them rest, and then I'll see you guys when I cut them up and give them a try. All right, so I just let these rest for about a half an hour after they were done cooking. So the total cook time on this was four and a half hours, which is surprisingly long for such a small piece of meat. I thought these would cook a little quicker, but I was surprised that they took so long. But I'm guessing that means that they're gonna be super delicious. And check out these short ribs. They look fantastic. Uh, this is the one with the vinegar sauce with all that honey. You can see it's got like a real nice glaze on it. And then this is the one with that black pepper sauce. You see it's not as shiny, not as glazed, but this is gonna have some awesome flavor on it. So I'm excited to give these a try. So let's go ahead and get these sliced up. With these small ones, Probably won't cut these up. I'll probably just eat this as is, but I will cut these big ones up, especially so you can see what they look like on the inside. Let's go ahead and just slice this right up. That looks good. Let me slice this one up too. All right, check that out, huh? Super juicy, as you can see, I'm actually Pretty amazed how juicy these are for being such a small piece of meat. Like Porter Road says, this is a glorious mix of fat and meat. So check that out. Looks really nice. And then check that one out. Got a nice smoke ring here. This is gonna be some good pork. So let me give this a try. All right, so after I cut these up and I looked at them, I'm super excited to give them a try. So I'm gonna go right into it. And I'm gonna start with that Texas black pepper style barbecue sauce I made. See how this one came out. Mm, mm hmm that is so good. That barbecue sauce after it was smoked on the smoker tastes delicious. It's got a nice strong black pepper taste, but it's not overpowering. And let's talk about the meat on these short ribs. It's nice and tender, but it's a little different than like a St. Louis style rib. And it seems to have a little bit more flavor too, but this is also meat that came from Porter Road and all their meat has a phenomenal flavor. So it could be that. I really enjoy these, but let me see how this other barbecue sauce came out. That vinegar sauce that we had. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good too. Tough choice between them both, but I think I gotta go with the vinegar sauce. I really like vinegar sauce and the honey made this into like a beautiful glaze. It's got a nice sweetness to it. I really enjoy that. It's got a little bit of kick from that red pepper flake. Not overpowering, but that is good. Definitely gonna be getting these again, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, I will leave a link to everything I like to use down in the description below. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, make sure to subscribe right over here. I got a bunch of good barbecue videos, and if you're looking to watch another one, I got one right over here for you. So thanks again, guys, and most importantly, get out there and smoke something good. Mm.